up, everybody? It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide and freshman wide receiver, Tony Mitchell. If you follow Alabama football, if you're a college football fan, an SEC fan, uh, you know the situation going on with Tony Mitchell right now. You know that he was suspended from all football-related activities uh, by Nick Saban after his arrest for drug possession, uh, fleeing the uh, the police driving over 145 mile, miles per hour fleeing the police. Uh, they had drug paraphernalia scales or whatever you want to call it in the car along with an unregistered gun, which he didn't get charged for the weapon. Uh, his buddy got charged for that. Um, had a large amount of money in the car. It was said 15000 at one time, but I think it was more like $7,000. But anyway, a uh, couple of minutes ago, I seen the article where Tony Mitchell will be uh, uh, given only pro, he will receive only probation. Okay, uh, the, the article says Alabama freshman football player to receive probation after drug arrest. Talking about Tony Mitchell, uh, goes on to say Alabama freshman decent defensive back Tony Mitchell will plead no contest Wednesday tomorrow in a Florida court on felony marijuana possession charge. Okay. So he's getting off easy, getting off with a slap on the wrist, okay? Um, his attorney says uh, Mitchell will receive probation and drug counseling, all right? Tony Mitchell initially entered a written not guilty plea for the charge, okay? So I guess they came up with a deal. Your plea no contest will only give you probation and, allow, and no jail time and allow you to continue with your football career. Like I say, really he's getting a slap on the wrist. All right. So, uh, you know, they young, they make dumb decisions or whatever. Uh, Mitchell and his friend, you know, uh, both men face felony charges of possession of marijuana with intent to sell. All right. And his friend, uh, which got, who got charged with the, with the weapon, uh, it says failed. He got charged with the weapon, and he was supposed to appear in court for a pre-trial hearing back on May the third, but he didn't appear. So now he got a warrant out for his arrest. So that should tell Tony Mitchell what type of guy you was hanging out with. He don't care. He don't care. So a light bulb should go on. Come on in Mitchell's head. All right. So hey, I, I don't need to deal with him no more. If he ain't going to do the right thing for himself, you know he ain't going to do the right thing for me. Plain and simple. And the way when the video came out, the way Tony Mitchell in that car crying, crying and pleading with the, with the law enforcement officer, he shouldn't want to do it no more. Because if he do, he a damn fool. He got a bright future ahead of him. So it is what it is. Uh, but like I say, Tony Mitchell was suspended from all team related activities by Nick Saban. All right. So hopefully I think Nick Saban is going to allow him to come back on the team, but with repercussions and limitations. I truly believe that he, Tony Mitchell is going to have to work his way out of the doghouse with Nick Saban, just like every other athlete on the Nick Saban's watch that did something like this. Hell, a lot of them don't even do nothing close to this and still have to work their way um, out of the doghouse. Now, yesterday, Nick Saban was asked about uh, Tony Mitchell, what's going on with him. Nick Saban didn't give no answer. He said, as far as he know, uh, he well, he don't know what's going on with his legal situation. So he really couldn't answer uh, the questions about uh, what was going on with Tony Mitchell. But I'm quite sure now Nick Saban has been informed of what's going on with Tony Mitchell, and I'm sure he's going to get asked about it probably tomorrow if he haven't, haven't already got asked about it, and he'll give my answer. So it is what it is. But um, uh, Mitchell's lawyer also said uh, that Mitchell will have to enter the uni well, M Mitchell might have to enter the university's drug counseling program as part of the school's initial discipline process which I think he will have to do that, which I know he'll have to do it because uh, if he want to play football for Nick Saban, 
that's what he's going to have to do. I'm just hoping that Tony Mitchell don't get into any more trouble as long as he's at Alabama. If he go to the NFL, I hope he don't get in any more trouble. Keep your head down, do the right thing, and play football. Go to class, get your grades, all right? That's it. You get, you might be getting out of this one, but if it happened again, he might not be so lucky. I'll just put it that way. And like I say, the way he was crying and pleading with the officer hollering about he can't lose his career, well, <laughs> by the grace or the good Lord, you might have your career back. So you might want to thank him, Tony Mitchell, just saying. But anyway, he ain't the first that did it. He won't be the last. Alabama football program is not the only program that had these type of issues. All of them had it, okay? So, <laughs> and a lot of these players then got out really unscathed. So, I think Tony Mitchell, you know, he got, <laughs> he had to go to jail, okay? He had to be suspended from the team. You know, a lot of players don't be suspended, but mm, three weeks, a month, it's been a little over a month for Tony Mitchell, but he had to go to jail. And uh, I think he, he done went through it these last couple of months. So, hopefully he learned. If he didn't, I don't know what to say. I hope that he don't come in and be another Jai Hall. I'll just put it that way. Who don't want to listen, okay? Who want to do his own thing, think he should get more playing time or whatever. Tony, uh, Ajay Hall, the been to what? Well, Alabama and Texas, I don't know where the hell he at now. But I hope that is not the fate of Tony Mitchell. I hope he'll come in and be loyal to my Alabama Crimson Tide because I know Nick Saban will give him every chance to be a better person and to be a better football player, all right? So like Nick Saban said, when we make our own choices, and there's no such thing as the wrong place at the wrong time. So, so, so like I say, he's going to have to get out of the doghouse, come in, and abide by the rules. Watch who you hang out, hang around with. Hang with your college buddies, your, your teammates. All them guys you used to hang with, leave them in the past. They might be mad. They might be upset. They might be jealous. Leave them in the past, especially the guy that you got caught up with because it's evident that he don't give a damn because he don't even appear in court when he's supposed to. He don't care about himself. He damn sure don't care about you, Tony Mitchell. Plain and simple. But I'm glad Tony Mitchell, you know, he, he can go out and, 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 and harm nobody. He ain't hurt nobody, even though it could have ended up that way, traveling 140 miles per hour. He didn't hurt nobody, okay? Got caught with some drugs, all right? So come on back and, and, and just do your thing. Keep your head, keep your head down. Yeah, you, you you do the right thing, you'll get you an NIL deal and you won't have to worry about money and selling drugs. I'll put it that way because you're making money in college these days. So that's all I wanted to bring to you, So especially you Alabama fans that didn't know that Tony Mitchell, Alabama football uh, uh, defensive back, will receive probation, okay, as of now. So it is what it is. Roll damn tide.